Hi beauties, it's Brittany Alyssa. It's bright and early in the morning. Um, I wanted to get this video started so that way I can go throughout my day. I have class this morning, so it's very important that I do this now. Um, it is currently 7.50, hold on, 7.57 in the morning. Um, I have to get out the door shortly, but I wanted to come to you guys and review this Giorgio Armani Power Fabric Foundation. So I already color corrected, I already sprayed my face, moisturized my face. This dryness, it looks dry because it's the benefit, um, poor professional and it just does that on my face. Uh, so my face is prepped and primed. Um, I'm just going to read the description on what this makeup is supposed to do. Um, it combines full coverage with an ultra light formula. Upon application, the texture melts into the skin, effectively blurring imperfections with an incredibly lightweight matte veil that feels like you're not wearing makeup at all. Um, with SP25 filter, Power Fabric offers effective daily UVA and UVB protection up to the promise of broad spectrum SPF protection. Because every woman is unique, Power Fabric foundation comes in 20 shades and it suit all skin types. To suit all skin types, the formula is adapted for each shade to deliver optimal coverage without cracking or dulling. Okay. In a nutshell, it's supposed to last all day. It's supposed to look, make your skin look flawless. And I was really curious about this foundation, so I purchased it from my local Nordstrom's um, to color match me. It took about five colors. I was going to originally order it online, and thank goodness I did not because. So this is how it looks. I was going to order it online, and I was like, "Oh, I'm a color nine. Well, I'm not." I'm a color 12 <laughs> and it took a lot of going through color matches to make sure. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply this all over my face. I have nothing else on. I'm then going to cut the video, come back with all my face applied and then let you guys know how it feels on. And then when I come back home from class later on, I'm going to then give you guys my final review. So jumping right into it, it has a pump. I am in the color 12. Um, in the store it looked a little red, but again, the other colors really, really, really didn't work for me. So I'm going to put this amount on my beauty blender and that should be enough to cover my entire face. Holy shit, boss. I think I applied way too much. I think I applied way too much. But we're going to roll with it. Holy balls. And I'm using a damp beauty blender because I honestly feel like applying it with my hands is just not for me. I've never been the type of person to apply my makeup with my hand. And the woman at the Giorgio Armani counter suggested that I apply it with my hand. And I'm just like, this is really freaking red. No, like, this is like really, 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 really red. And again, they do have 20 shades, and some of them have yellow undertones, and some of them have red undertones. Unfortunately, the 11 with the yellow undertone was way too light for my skin, even though I do have yellow undertones in my skin. This is really important, bitch. But this was the only color that I could review because going to 13 was way too dark. 14 was way too dark. I'm gonna go down my neck so that there is no demarcation. Uh, yeah, this is really, really, really red. Okay, so it looks flawless and it might be that I just put on too freaking much, but I know better next time not to use three pumps and just use two. I'm going to conceal, contour, highlight, and do all that other good stuff and put on some 
eye makeup and then I will be able to give my full review because even though it looks red because I apply so many other things to my face, it it doesn't usually come out like this. Oh, okay, it's settling into my skin and although it's still very red and very pumpkin looking, um, it's filling into my skin. So this is how that looks. Um, again, I use a damp beauty blender. It really feels lightweight. It does have like a nice pretty scent to it. Not too much, but it does have a scent. And I'm going to come back once all my face is completely done and let you guys mm, see how it looks then. Okay, so hi beauties. My makeup is 100% complete. It is now 8 o'clock and I am 8.30 and I'm late because I'm supposed to be out of here at 8.30 to leave out to go to class because my class starts at 9 o'clock. But overall, my initial take on this makeup is it really feels like I have nothing on my face. It did oxidize to my natural color. Um, I'm going to do some zoom in clips so that you guys can see exactly how it looks. I think it looks breathtakingly flawless. Um, I think that this might be my new holy grail makeup. I am absolutely in love with this foundation. Um, I'm going to wear it throughout the day. I'm going to see if by the end of the day I still love it as much as I do now at 8.30. I will keep you guys posted and updated. Um, but for now, I think this makeup is flawless. I think it looks really good. I think it blends in beautifully in my skin. Initially, it was very red. But I think after I applied everything else on my face, it really looks great. So I will let you guys know what I think about this product later on. So for now, I love it. Let's see if I love it six hours from now. Okay, so it is now three o'clock and I've had this makeup on since eight o'clock. Eight, yeah, eight o'clock. Um, I'm doing a check-in. This is my face up close and personal. You can start seeing my discoloration peeking through. Um, I haven't put anything on my face. I haven't um, blotted it. I haven't put any powder to it. My nose is a little shiny. Um, yeah, my forehead's creasing a little bit. But besides that, I think that it looks really good still like here in the natural light because I had the visor down here in the natural light it doesn't look horrible besides my nose being a little bit shinier than it should be I think it looks good I'm gonna do my final check-in when I get home Lake is in the back um, so yeah I'll do my final check-in once I get home but right now this is how it looks okay beauties I am back it is six it is okay iphone 6 46 um in the evening i've had this makeup on since eight o'clock this morning um i checked in a few hours ago and this is my final check-in i am going to wash this makeup off my face so my final thoughts on the product are as you can see i am oily as hell all up in here up in my t-zone and my chin I haven't blotted, haven't powdered. I am freaking oily. Um, it didn't start getting really oily until a few hours ago. It started getting oily and then this is the final thought. But I will say this. I've had this makeup on since 8 o'clock. If you give it an hour and 15 minutes, it will be 12 whole hours. I don't think you're supposed to wear this makeup for 12 hours. I wouldn't suggest it because it could really clog your pores. But I really put this makeup through the freaking challenge. And I am an oily person. Maybe if I blot or put powder, it will still hold up. I'm going to do some zoom in pictures so that you guys can see exactly what I'm talking about. It started creasing on me over here you can start to see the discoloration I have on this side 
and on this side as well my nose it's like literally like almost no makeup on my nose but again I've had this makeup on all day my final thoughts is I will wear this makeup again I just don't know if I'll wear it for the time that I have the makeup on um, but today was a hectic day I had classes I had to go shopping um, so I was literally out of the house all day I literally just walked through the door and sat down to record this before I forgot and washed this stuff off it's a really good makeup. I did not feel like I had anything on up until maybe an hour and a half ago. It started feeling really cakey and gross and I need to take this shit off. So those are my final thoughts on the Giorgio Armani Power Fabric um, makeup and I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Again, I do recommend going out. It does have a heavy price tag. It's not transfer proof like I literally got makeup all over the place uh, <laughs> what else yeah it's not transfer proof it does get oily it does crease up a little bit but again I have had this makeup on all freaking day so is it worth the $64 price tag I don't know if you wear your makeup for 12 hours but um most people don't so if you're going to wear it for 12 hours, don't go out and buy it. If you think you'll wear it for 4 hours or you're going to like an event, it's perfect for that. It looked flawless. I'm going to post pictures of how it looked and how it photographed. My makeup has looked flawless all freaking day up until a few hours ago. And now I'm just oily. But it's even though it's oily, it doesn't look horrible. It's just really shiny. So again, those are my final thoughts. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. To my channel leave comments down below of what you think i should review next i'm going to do more videos like this thumbs it up if you guys enjoyed this video and i'm going to get ready for bed as you can hear like in the background playing with danelle i'm ready to go to bed so thank you guys so much for watching again have a great night bye babies. <laughs>